Have you heard the squeegee story? With Brian Tobin? Yeah, <laughs> I was there. Oh, you were there for that? Yeah. No, I've actually asked a few people about that, but uh, they've only heard it. So yeah, that would be a great one. Yeah, yeah, we were at the uh, place called The Dungeon. It was the bar and um, the hotel in Atlanta where everybody stayed. Uh, used to be Ramada, I don't know what it is now. And uh, they gave us a good price and they had a bar down there and they called it The Dungeon. And it was just, uh, it was uh, so many crazy stories that had happened down there, you know. Uh, after TV, you know, all the main guys would, would show up there. And, uh, but so Sid worked for WWF at the time. He happened, don't even know why he was in Atlanta, but he happened to come in the bar and he got in Pillman and Mike Graham's face. Now Pillman and Mike, especially Mike Graham, was a, Pillman and, and Mike Graham were both small. But Mike Graham especially was a tough guy. He was an amateur wrestler and he didn't care if you were 5'6 or 6'5 or whatever. He wasn't going to back down. He was a tough guy and they started talking and he was talking about how you know WWF is so much better and WCW sucks and you know Mike said why the hell are you here in this bar you know and it got heated and it got heated and it got heated and Sid goes I'm not gonna let you talk to me like that you'll see and he went out to his car he goes I'm going out to my car well we're all thinking he's getting like a gun or a knife you know it gotten really heated and, you know, there was a little bit of worry in the room. The guy's going to come, you know, start shooting. Uh, I'll never forget. <laughs> he walks in with a squeegee, you know, where you, you wipe the, 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 the tire, you know, the, the ice from your car or the windshield wiper. And goes, come on, man. And instead of a fight breaking out, everybody in the entire hotel bar started laughing. And Sid was so humiliated by that, he probably to this day still wishes it never happened. But I mean, it was just that we thought he was going to get like a weapon. And the guy brought a squeegee into the bar and uh, everybody just started laughing and Sid stormed out. And uh, that story will live on in infamy. But that, that place, the dungeon, was a crazy place, man. Were you in WCW when Aaron and Sid had their uh, stabbing off? I was the there. I wasn't, in, I wasn't overseas. Gary was on that tour. Gary Capetta. Oh, okay. But basically there was an argument on the bus and it led to... As best as I remember, uh, Sid lost his mind, not, either knocked on or kicked in Arn's door at the hotel. They were fighting. Arn grabbed a pair of scissors to try to save his life. Sid got stabbed a bunch of times by Arn. Both went to the hospital. I think Sid got the worst of it because scissors is worse than, uh, than your fists. Uh, wasn't really friendly with Arn at the time a little bit. I was just getting to know him. Um, he was worried that he was going to lose his job, obviously. He, uh, but, you know, he said I had to defend myself.